Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Today I have a different kind of a video. I actually have a desk space now. Can you believe that? I'm so excited. Uh, this is not going to be a long video because I really don't like um, doing videos when people are home. I, that's, I usually do them when there's no one here. And this is not my whole setup yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I just recently moved my, um, I'm going to put my glasses down. I just recently moved onto this desk, I guess basically is what I'm trying to say. So I'm still trying to figure out where to put everything. But for now, I have this, and right on the other side of this, where you see that, that's my kitchen. So we have a very small house, so I'm gonna try not to bring the camera up too high because that's just the kitchen right on the other side. But right here I have this container that I bought from Walmart. On the other side of the container, it says something about washing because this is for your laundry room. And I just flip it this way. And um, I, I think I could even start putting magnets on this. I'll have to find some cute little magnets. I love all those little cute things. So right here is what I'm working on. So now I finally have a space, <clears throat> excuse me, to put all the books and coloring books that I'm working on right here. And then I have my laptop in the back. Um, so I put it away because my kids will just put anything on this desk like um, food, which I don't like, but yeah, it happens if we live in a very small house. So I'll show you a little bit over there, but a big old hot mess over there when I get there and you can see, um, I'll just kind of pan really um, quick. It's, it's not, I mean, there's like boxes and stuff because I still got to take stuff to storage and so yeah, so it's kind of embarrassing, but so you'll kind of see like over here. We have these boxes that need to go to storage and that needs to be packed away. And that was actually right there when I went to the thrift store with my friends. I had to put that away. Um, so yeah, so that's like, on that table over there was the table that I was coloring on before. So that was the table where I would have to, um, if I was gonna eat, I'd have to clear everything off. If it's gonna work, I have to clear everything off. So it was very hard and sometimes very frustrating for me. So this is like the part of the living room. So let's go back to the desk. And then right here I have my paint brushes, um, my quick scissors to get quickly and things like that. And then this is where I put my, I have a drink. I put that over it in case there's a fly in the house. And I gotta have my peanuts, which I really enjoy. I gotta put my soap away, but my son bought, bought that from California. And then I have this X-Acto um, pencil sharpener, which I love sharpened everything in that like prismas brute funners crayolas and i have had no problem with it and it's really um sorry about the shadow that's the only thing about this desk is there's a shadow um now now i have shadow on color and stuff but it has like this huge um, compartment right there so it doesn't have to be um emptied all the time and i have done like 120 Crayons when swatch, I mean crayons, um, colored pencil swatch when I'm swatching, and then still have room in there. And then um, just put that there so I don't forget to take my vitamins. And and then I love this. I got this from Arteza. It um, I had been wanting it for a long time. Oh, and then this was part of my thrift find. I just love that. I love corny wear. That's a new pattern I found. So um, I want to have it out somewhere, but I don't know where. So I love this, so right here, I haven't labeled them yet because I'm not exactly sure if this is exactly how I want them. But right here is where um, I just have like odds and ends. And then in here I have like all the white pencils and Poscas and things like that, gel pens, and I have an eraser here and just some blenders. I have like the different blenders in there. And then this one is Sharpies and then somehow this water pencil got in there, but I love this. Oh, it's a pencil extender, which I haven't had to use yet, but someday I, I want to be able to use those things. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but um, I don't remember now. And then these are like clips to hold the books open. I love this one right here. It's a, I got this from the dollar store and I love it, but I wish I, I want to get it painted to say like Linda learns to color on it or something. But I don't know how to, I'm not, we can't draw, so we'll see. And then I got some just extra things there. And then 
them right here. I put these two post-it notes because they fit perfectly. And then these are my the Statler or Statler or sorry, I don't know how to say that, but these are the markers. I think these are water-based markers. I'm not sure. Um, because when I was using them in one of my books, it looked like it was a water-based marker. So if you know, um let me know. Oh, you know what? I'll have to check. Um, it did bleed through a little bit, but I don't know if it's just the paper. So I gotta check. Yeah, this evening. I gotta check on another coloring book. And then right here are some more of um, Sharpies. And then I love these pens right here that I got years ago. And they still are working and going strong. And then these are all my um, fine liners. I know I have way too many, especially since I don't draw. Um, but I do like to do... I have a series of books where you do like logic puzzles and these work great in it. Although I did that a little do got a little bit too many. So let's see if we can even close that drawer again. You have to put them back right, just right. So let's go ahead and just take that drawer out. And then right here are my Poscas. Can you believe I bought these like five years ago and they're still working? I can't believe that. I, in fact, I had another one that I just I got rid of. Um, I should have checked them first. I was being lazy. I just figured that they, since they were five years old, they wouldn't work. So that's really sad. And then these are the water brush pens and that's a glittery thing. Like you put a glittery, glitter overlay. And then I don't know why my Prisma um, black markers here. It's supposed to be like alcohol blenders and things like that in there. And then these are my erasers. It's so, oh, that I remember what I was gonna say now. It's so nice to have a home for everything. When I got this, it was just so wonderful because everything was getting lost all the time. I was buying doubles and things like that. And this is, um, these are my Arteza like glitter pens or glitter markers. And then I have just a few highlighters in here and other things that kind of are glittery um, that I put in there. And then these are my Brute Funner pastels and stapler and just a few little office supplies in there. And this is just like a little bit um, more odds and ends. And my stickles, I don't have very many so they fit right there. And then these are just like tape, a little extra sharpener, hole punch. It's like a one inch hole punch. And then on top, I have um, just a little bit of extra stuff here that I probably should go through. It has like lotion and things like that. And then right here, these are pens that my family members can use because I don't want them getting things from, I don't want them using my fine liners or anything. So I have this up here because I know this is going to be something easy for them to get to. And so they're going to be wanting to use the pens I have up here. So I just thought I would put them here. And then my little brush here, I have a few of these. And then this is my... Um, little diffuser thing, a little bit of lotion, and lately I've been using Winter Sunshine. And over here, see I'm not, I haven't like organized everything just yet. Um, right here I have my mouse, my um, Doll 133, which I love, but it all doesn't always work. It's strange. And then I have one of these sharpeners and my Tombow markers. And then this light goes to my um, book holder where, I, where um, I have my where I color, so it's I'm not so low on the the um, table and hunched over, and it's better since I can't see very well. And then I just have some extra cords in here, and just these things. And this is where I put my extra like oils because I don't want the getting on the desk if it leaks. And then I have this back there and then some crayons. I want to try out these crayons. I bought these years ago, these praying crayons, and they are actually quite smoother than the Crayolas. So, and then right now I'm using these in this book right here. And then I just have, these are puzzles, which are really neat. They're puzzles from, that are from coloring pages. So I thought that was I'm probably just gonna pack them away though because I don't have any time, I mean not time, but I don't have any room to do puzzles or diamond paintings or anything like that. But um, one day I will. And I'm going to do these puzzles because these are really neat. And then I'm gonna hang them up in my one day when I have a craft room. So yeah, I'm working on one of the, in picture of these and I'm working on swatching, which I love swatching. I have all kinds of swatch books and I'm trying to figure all that out. And then just some pencils. These are my master pencils. 
and then just another swatch book. So, so I'm trying to figure out how to get this a little bit more organized. But for now it's right there and I'm just so thankful that I actually have a space for it. And then, um, yeah, you always mostly see a Starbucks cup because I save them when I go to Starbucks. They usually double up my Americano and I hate to just throw the cup away because there's two cups there. So, and then I have three boys that work at Starbucks. So and they have Starbucks every day. I'm um, so thankful that they bring me a Americano home. And then in here, this is the only drawer and it's weird. It doesn't come all the way out and it's a small drawer. Um, so I just keep my good scissors here, some more brushes, some pens that, um, I don't want to get lost where the, the mug is. And then these are what I'm using right now. Well, this one, this is, I'm coloring um, a page and I'm using these, so I just take this out. This is actually a corn holder. <laughs> it's um, like a vintage corn holder. And I got it at the thrift store for 99 cents. I have four of these and it looks like there's a pen in there, but I'll get that out later. And then um, I just need to put these away. I was probably using them. Here's my other swatch book which I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do all my swatching. So this is my other one. This is the binder one. And then it has some coloring pages in there and things like that. And then, yeah, the store is just very strange. There's actually a drawer on the other side, but the other side is against the wall. So that's that. And then, okay, you guys, I'm going to share, share the embarrassing part. And it's, this is all the rest of the stuff I got to organize. So I don't know where to put it just yet. But this is um, this is the one that I really like this. Um, the only thing that kind of slides sometimes if you put too much um, pressure. But this is where that light, and it goes with the, the light um, that came, like this came with together. So I love that thing. And then, so this is for work. And then, let's see, that's the, that's food. Um, so then I just have like coloring books on here because I don't know where to put them just yet. And then these are some of my extra color pencils in this container. And then there's two more containers that I'm trying to organize all my coloring books. So this is like a work in progress. I'm trying to get it done in June so I could do like a video of the coloring books that I bought in a year. And then this hot mess over here. Um, see, I have coloring books right here. Um, you can see how there's like some spiral right there. And then there's another shelf that I have some of my work, um, for work books that I have for work. So I work for a homeschooling company. And then, um, so over there are some, uh, what brand of markers or watercolor markers from Ohuhu in there. And then I have some small little coloring books in there. So some more small coloring books. And then those are my colorant markers. And then those are my my tan mint tan mint or something like that gel pens and those are my gel pens from color it and then up here are my hardback coloring books and then these are ones that i just recently got i still need to figure out where to put them this is um like watercolor type stuff so these are watercolor pencils and then i have oops those are my little lights that i haven't really put anywhere yet so this is all watercolor type things. So yeah, I wish I could show you more. It's fun to always look at people's things. At least I enjoy all those kind of videos. Um, but yeah, it's just too hard with, with one hand. So I got these. I want to, I need to swatch all these out. So that's all my stuff in there. Let's see if I can get that back in. I'm looking through the camera, so. And then up here, just my smash stuff. These are my Star Joy Originals. And then these are my coloring books. Those are those, um, there's Rita Berman. And then those are those color, like Ursula Swab type coloring books. And then up here, I have my colored pencils, some of them anyway. And those are, um, let me see if I could hold this. Those are my diamond painting kits that I bought at Hobby Lobby at clearance. They're, they're um, theme is Frozen. I think one's an Olaf one, but I don't have any room to really do them, but they were such a good price. I just um, snagged them and then they're small. I wanted to see if I would um, really like doing diamond painting, but um, yeah, we just didn't have any room after all. And then over here I have, um, these are my watercolor markers and that has like watercolor stuff or um, just odd and end things. 
And then those are some of my pencils and more odd and end things. Um, some of these are coloring books, some of these are books for work. And then down here, those are more colored pencils in the back. See, like right there, those are all colored pencils in the back. And then um, these I use when I'm working on something to kind of separate everything. And down here where you can't really see are more, some more colored pencils. These are like watercolor type pencils that didn't fit up, up, up there. And so this is my cart. These are some books that I recently bought. This is um, where I put my work, things for work, like calendars and stuff. Ohuhu markers, ohuhu markers. Um, and then there's this. Um, it's like a tray, but I put some of my stuff on it, and then when I need to get to a coloring book under there, I just pick up the whole tray, and then I can get to the coloring books. And these are gonna, I'm gonna use for packing. I need to pack up some dishes, and so these are all what my coloring books have been arriving in. So yeah, as you can see, it's a big mess over here. And then here's another cart, which I still need to organize. It was on the other side of the um, living room. And on this cart, I have some of my smaller coloring books. These are pencils that need to be put away. This is my postcards to color. And on the very bottom, these are markers. And these, the bottom one's extra glitter pens. Um, just some markers. And this is from color. It must be some, oh, I think those are the watercolors. These are extra pens in there. These are my Artex and Artex. And then this is my, um, this is like, like a travel color pocket. So I need to start using that. So yeah, so that's my, so I have that cart and, and this cart that I, this one I really need to get um, organized. Yeah, and then, oops, I'm sure. My son needs to put his box away right there because um, we kind of shared living room. So yeah, that's my coloring space and that's my stapler that you could um, staple like book booklets. Make a, you could staple it like a book format because it's a long stapler so you could staple like in the middle of the paper once you fold it. I used to use that a lot when the kids were little. And yeah, so that's my little area. And I don't think there's anything else. My my clock that doesn't work. I don't know if it'll focus, but the kids dropped it and the arms fell off, or the hands. I need to get more hands and then I think it would work, so. Okay, so that's it. That's my little space. I still need to organ organize it better, but that's how it is right now. And I'm just, I think in June, when I put some of the boxes in storage that I don't need some stuff and I could put under the table, there's room to put some things but um, for work I'm having I'm going to a convention next month so I have some boxes of books that I need to take and they're stored under this desk right now well I hope you enjoyed that um thank you so much for watching remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way and you all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye